Okay. Fat Joe. Okay, on the real thing is Carrie Chalk. On the very road, the east and west track. On the left track, yeah, hey, where you from? It's where you at. You ain't a killer. You still learning how to talk on the on the Cali on the trail, nigga. Carry y'all. Now the gentleman here walk that east to west track, walk the left track. It ain't where you from. It's where you at. Great mistake. You should have came here to change your fate. You put it on my headphones. Hold on. When I raise the stakes, yo, let me tell you something. That's my. I can't see you, Nori. That's my favorite big party song ever. Wait, uh, you ain't a killer. And um, uh, you ain't a killer. Get out of here. Get out of here. You ain't a killer is my favorite uh, big party song uh, ever to this day. When I hear it, I can't hear it once. I got to hear it multiple I, times. I, I, I hit you like real quick, but I want to let everybody know. Who's tuned into the Fat Joe Show. It's 22 years since uh, Big Pun's debut album, Capital Punishment, and um. It's a big day for us. And I was asking Lordy, I was asking my wife, I was like, yo, Ma, how did we feel when we dropped that album? And she was like, yo, we was on top of the world. Like, she was like, the biggest in the game. The biggest it. in the game. Biggest in the game. Like, she was like, yo, we was, we was on one. Like, we was on that shit. Heavy. Uh, you know, uh, shout out Steve Rifkin for putting us on, man, <laughs> and giving the opportunity. Sean C., Maddie C., uh, everybody at Loud Records. But uh, for me, when I met Pun, and I'm going to get to you, because I know. Uh, Take your time. When I met Pun, he was so nasty. And I'm going to elaborate how I met him for the first time and all that. But when I met him, he was so dope. People got to understand, before Pun, the only Spanish rapper that was popping was Fat Joe. And when and I met And Boy George Pun, was around, though, right? Huh? Our boy George, Curious George was around before that. Yeah, but I mean, we, yeah, yeah, I, I, I know what you mean. I know what you God mean. God bless yeah. Curious George. We're yeah, not yeah, talking, yeah. You know, we talking yeah, about yeah. that. You yeah, know, yeah, we talking about, you know, Spanish nigga, half moon, chains on, 100 niggas behind, different type of atmosphere going on, you know? Yeah. So, but Flojo, my first single, I went number one in the country. And when I met Pun, I said, holy shit, this this our Latino biggie. This is this this is our God. So I had to step back mm -hmm. and hold an umbrella because I knew he was a hundred times better. Some people don't know how hard that's to do. For me, it ain't. But for some mm -hmm. other artists, they won't know how to do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I just knew that Latinos and hip hop, because mm -hmm. you know you have black, you have Spanish. That's the way I view the whole world anyway. For me. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so hip-hop to me, that's how it go for me anyway. I'm half right. black, half Spanish, even though I'm Spanish, right? right? But we needed somebody like that. And yeah. um, and that's why, you know, we went all out and we, we pulled every favor, every trick, everything we could do to give him a possibility to be the biggest guy in the game. Um, right. How did you meet Big Pun? Well, first off, I, I, before I say how I met Big Pun, I never knew you felt like um, Ain't a Killer. You felt like that. You know why I love Ain't a Killer? Because he shouted out Left Rack. And no other rapper shouted out Left Rack at that time. So I was like, oh, my God. Yo, you was like, Left Rack. <laughs> like, every time I hear it right now, I just, even right now, I like So, you, so you're telling me Big Punk could have hung out in the corner store on no, Left he Rack? Did. No, he did. No, he did. He did. He did? He did. He did. He did. He did. I got 15 million stories of Punk. But here's one of my funniest stories. And this is not how I met him, but this is how we we already cool. We did the Pete Rock record together. We did um, Funk Flex album together. We did Onyx album together. We did Royal Flush album together. And so we, we, we got used to hanging out in studios on other people's budgets. So we would dug it out. You know, we would do whatever. But this is the time. This is on my budget. We're an electric lady. And, you know, Pun, Pun is the person who put me on that. We actually have a food budget. I never even knew you had a food budget. <laughs> like, he was the first nigga that said, Nori, you know you got five hundred dollars you can spend on Pizza Hut. And I was like, What? And like, so he would put me on, well, whatever. We was at my studio and I was um I was uh uh you there? You there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm okay, here. okay, okay. Yeah, so I was um I was actually trying to repay nature because nature I was on a firm album and I, I, I laid my 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 record for the firm album on nature session so nature could have hated on me nature could have been like yo this nigga's not even firm 
Why is he on the album? So he never hated on me. So I wanted to pay nature back by putting him on what became banned from TV, but it wasn't banned from TV at first. So this was just a normal joint because if you listen to NRE album, I say, I lay low. I call Big Pun and Fat Joe. The niggas my click. We three amigos. What I wanted to do was me, you, and Pun together on NRE album. We wanted to be three amigos. So it was two joints. I wanted to put y'all on Esta Loca or, or this, this joint called The Story. And it's both, this is still on NRE album. But anyway, moving on. So I, we're an electric lady, and I used to never smoke cigarettes. I smoke cigarettes. I never smoke cigarettes no more. But even when I smoke cigarettes, I never like to smoke inside. So I went downstairs to smoke a cigarette. Nature finally lays his verse, and I come back, and Pun has a whole verse on Bad TV. <laughs> no, no one, no one. No, if Pun so Pun do, put he thugged his way on Bad from TV. One million percent thugged his way on Bad from TV. <laughs> one million percent. And hey, uh, he went crazy on there, pork chops and applesauce. But but here's the crazy shit, crack. I had been like I said, I'd been like the session with Pun at this time, like five or, or five or six or maybe ten times, you know. And Pun took his time um laying his vocals, you know what I'm saying? Like him and Biggie had something about their vocal control that was really ill about that. But it took some time to lay it. It wasn't no, like no quick and you know, quick and done thing. For this instance, I swear to God, I went and smoked a cigarette. This nigga had his doubles laid, his ad libs. <laughs> he was done. Yo, and they had a couch in the, in, in, in the vocal booth. And I was like, yo, how did you do all this in that fast? And I let you know how amazing Pun was. I don't know. I can't tell you if Pun wrote that rhyme there. I can't tell you if he had that rhyme. I you know, him. Pun, I tell people all the time, Pun right. used to fall asleep and then wake up and write a whole Have song a on the whole a whole song like i don't know how he used to mm. write in his sleep like he used to go to sleep and wake up and write a song i can't do that what i, can't do that. I, can't I do that shit for nothing <laughs> and, I, um, I, I tried I, and i said i gave up immediately i tried i guess the reason said, why <laughs> i guess the reason why joe's still around or or Joe stepped the skills up every time is because I went to pun school. Right. So even though I put pun on, pun would sit me down. He was determined to make me nice. So right. he would sit me down, me and him. Nigga, we popping. We the number one rappers in the game. It's the right. summer. Right. Dudes coming by outside in trucks, honking the horn. Yo, we going out. We going here. And pun would be like, fuck them. We right so I'll be sitting there old school, and then I'll write something. He'll be like, yo, that shit is whack. Step your game up. Talk wow. about this. Talk about that. So wow. people don't understand. So when Pun passed away, God bless the dead, it prepared me wow. for my future to be Fat Joe the Rapper. And that's when I wow. stepped my game up. But wow. uh, Capital You did a great punishment. job. You did a great job. Capital Punishment. You know, yeah. Capital Punishment. Yeah. We oh, spent man. about a million dollars in that video with you and Pun. <laughs> Yo, yo, no, you was loving that shit. Yo, listen, here's another point, right? Here's another about that video. So, right, you're not there yet. You coming up, you you, you pulling up. So so they they're the people on the video said are sweating. Cause they can't let Pun jump off of this fucking thing. They cannot let this happen. You remember Pun jumped off, off the, the roof? Thing? Yeah. But he wanted to do it himself. So Pun is going like this to me. Pun goes like this. Yo, just say yeah. I say, all right, cool, because I don't know what I'm saying yeah to. So the director goes, he goes, yo, Nori, why'd you see me jump up a building higher than this, than this before? I go, no. <laughs> no, hell no, but. He said, hell no. <laughs> I couldn't co-sign that. But all listen, a lot of people don't know. When you watch the You Came Up video, Pun did all his own stunts. I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds crazy. Other than him jumping off, when he jumped off, he didn't do that. But when he kicked the guy and he karate chops them, that's all Pun, man. That's all People nah, ask, he loved, yo, he loved that shit, man. Yo, he really did his own stunts in the video, man. But yo, I watched, I watched that video earlier. You know, just seeing me, you. I'm gonna tell you some crazy shit because yeah. this is a story mm -hmm. I never really told nobody. But I'm gonna do it mm -hmm. with you on here, right? Because you, oh, my no brother, problem. you deserve no this one. No this, is, this, 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 this is a Joker mm -hmm. moment. Mm -hmm. So let's go. I'm sitting there, so. I didn't realize that when we was coming up, you know, when we came up, we came up hard. Right. And fat, from Fat Joe, from day right. one, since 14 years old, I was smashing dudes in the Bronx. Right. 
punishing dudes back, right? right. And and so we had a reputation for yo, they go like right. like like on instant anything you say to them, they gonna go. Right. So I remember one year we was outside the Puerto Rican parade. We just finished Puerto Rican love, Puerto Rico yeah. Morena. They, yeah. Everybody got the Puerto Rican flags. Yeah. So this kid comes up to me and he says, yo, Fat Joe, I said, yo, what's up? He said, yo, my uncle told me you pussy. I said, it was like 30 of us, right? The whole terror squad was there. I said, what? I got yeah. my shoulder. I said, yo, Boricuas, Boricuas, they please. Like, <laughs> why, why are you doing this? Yeah. Nah, you know what? Matter of fact, I know you pussy. The crew was like, ah! <laughs> so I couldn't help it. They start yeah. chasing this guy up up the bridge. Is the bridge going from Harlem from, from Harlem to the Bronx, the 138 bridge? So they chasing him yeah. in Puerto Rican day with everybody honking the horn. Right. So they chasing him. They're gonna catch him and pound him out. But right. my thing is, I never touched him. I right. never. I swear to God, I ain't lying to you. I had nothing to do with this. Mm. What the kid wanted was a lawsuit. We didn't know. We was yeah. rich already. We didn't know they was just trying to gas me so he yeah. could get a lawsuit. So yeah. they catch the kid. They they pounded him out legend. Right. And the next thing I look, the gray band starts zooming up there. Oh, no. Hundreds with the gray band zooming. Right! He opens the door. He comes out the car. I'm like, no. I'm running up the. I'm running up the bridge. No. So I run up there. Well, you know he sneaks two or three in. <laughs> no, bro, they, they were trying. I don't. They was trying to act like act pretend like they were yeah. gonna throw this kid off the bridge. Oh no! So, oh no! I don't want him in broad daylight. I saved right. the kid. I swear to God, I wow. saved him. Like wow. yo, they was hitting me. Like I was like, no, 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 stop! Enough, enough, enough. Yeah. So he leaves. About a month later, I got an autograph signing, and uh. Two detectives come. I'm oh, signing wow. autographs. I got like a thousand wow. kids. I'm wow. signing. Two detectives come and they come and they're like, look, Joe, after you sign the autographs, you know, you're coming with us. We're locking you up. Uh, uh, you know, wow. for uh, for robbery. And, you know, the kids said I robbed them and all that. Some bullshit. I never touched wow. them, Glory. I never wow. touched them. So wow. I'm like, so I, my lawyer, I call him immediately, so my lawyer's already talking to the DA. Like, so when I go to the precinct, I can actually see the judge that night. So uh -huh. my lawyer's ahead of the job. DA is like, all right, no problem. This is that. This is most likely a bullshit case. Anyway, so I go to the precinct with the cops. They put me in the world's smallest cell in the world. I think 41st yeah. precinct in the Bronx. So I go there. I'm sitting in there. They're doing the paperwork. Cops, very nice. Yo, don't worry. In about an hour, we about to take you to Central Booking. You going? You going to see the judge? No problem. My lawyer's in the precinct. Yo, bro, about ten minutes before I go, the yeah. whole precinct starts going crazy, ah! <laughs> banging on the wall, all type of shit, right? So I'm yeah. like, yo, what's going on? The whole precinct. The cops open the door. Pun walks in with a black leather suit, like a blazer. Pants with a bottle of champagne, right in the where I'm at in the cell. Now I'm about to go home in two hours. She said, "You book it. I don't want to spend the night." So he walks in. He says, "Yo, twin, we made the papers, twin. We made." The, I'm like, "No, no, sorry. They put pun in the little cell with me. Now I'm standing like the Good Times poster. You know, Good Times." How the mm. motherfuckers just stretched out? I'm right, stretched right. out like this. Pun is sitting there, he's sitting up on yo twin. They got jails for guys like us with swimming pools. They give you massages and this. I said, yo, pun, they're gonna put us in the dirtiest jail with the biggest killers in the fucking world. And uh. it was so crazy, he's such a genius, but common sense, he was a little off. <laughs> yeah, he was he crazy. Was a little off. Now he really you know thought they had jails for celebrities. So I'm nah. like, yo, pun, they're gonna yeah. cut, they're gonna put. So that fucked up. 
me going to the judge that night because both of us is on the case now. So we have to spend the night. Now, we go to Central Booking, Big Pun, Fat Joe, and Central Booking in the Bronx. Motherfuckers yeah. going crazy, like, oh, shit. And um, I never told this story before, though, but, like, I never seen no shit, man. I never seen shit like Pun. The police let him stay in the cell by himself with the wow. gate open and the wow. phone. They brought him the phone. Wow. So he could talk to his wife all wow. night long on the phone. Big Pun sent you book it, mm. right? And then, I don't want to say who, but we got a friend who had the super clout. He yeah. came up there with lobsters, pork chops, steaks, <laughs> baileyas, sodas. <laughs> Nigga, we fed the whole central booking. Lobsters, steak, crackheads was eating steaks, lobsters, all type of shit. We That's saw the judge in the morning. We beat, we, you know, we didn't beat the case. It was a lawsuit. But mm. um, that shit was crazy, man. That shit was crazy, man. Yo, pun is too much of a movie. People Yo, just don't understand. Did you did you see the the shit on Netflix Waco? Like you seen them the, the yeah, I seen docu Waco. You think you think you think you think Pun could get a a mini docu docu series like that? Like a like well, that's called docu drama. But like look, you know, I like, know he can. But the thing is, you know, when when Pun passed away, you know, I gave all the rights to Big Pun to his family. Right. right so I don't yeah. own Fat Joe. Cannot put out a Pun. Record. No, no, I think, movie. I, I think I think it's time. I think it's time. I think I think everyone will will understand that because we we his his story has to be told and like I want to see who 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 we can pick for an actor for pun like I want to oh, see no, somebody. Pun, pun, that yeah, yeah, be I want to see that man. Lord, I, mean, I, I don't know what that. they you know if they're gonna do that, but they should. Right. You know what I'm saying? But that should be nah, crazy. But, but, but to tell you the truth, even if they do it, you you got to be involved. You know. You gotta be involved. It's not not right without Fat Joe. Like, I don't know what to I, tell I, you, Nari. I, I, I don't have no dog in the fight. I'm just being real about it. Fat Joe involved. The world is gotta be, you know, the world gotta know that. You know, I've been around. I've seen Fat Joe. I've seen Pun around each other. These brothers love each other. So, and and, and, and you have to be. You have to be. I don't know how we, we're gonna do it, but I, I guess I'll be the middleman or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But yo, listen, nah, man. Nah, but it's almost years, time. It's almost time. But it's, you know, it's that's time, man. Capital you know that's up to man. that's up to them. Ruben yep. Diaz, pun is in your top five. He better, he better be. be. He better I mean, be. Well. You know, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some other people on the thing. Nope. I want to know. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm not okay. saying that to you. I'm blinds. just saying if Tony uh -huh. Sunshine's on the check-in, Tony I want Sunshine, you to come what a great guy. Man. It's strictly family, guy. and then we're gonna let some fans. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Know what's Do up? We're gonna let some fans tell us what they love most about punk. And you, I want me to tell you what I love most about Pun. He was the funnest dude I ever been around. Like I'm talking about fun. I remember, I remember, like we went on. Loretta started what smiling. She agrees with you. I remember Pun loved Loretta. Love Pun wanted like, to make her the Latino little little Kim. Look, Loretta all that's the time. All. That's all. Just let me write the rhymes. <laughs> you gonna battle little Kim? You gonna be our? Lorena was like, yeah. man, I ain't rapping about shit. Like, <laughs> crazy. Yo, yo, one time I was on a road with Pun, and all of the niggas from TS was trying to get on my bus. And I was like, why are you trying to get on my bus? Because Pun was giving them welfare cheese, so they wouldn't shit on the bus. I was dying. <laughs> he was giving... Nah, he was crazy, man. He was, <laughs> he was giving them welfare Yo, the cops, let me tell you something. The cops came uh -huh. up to me. Uh -huh. The cops oh, used to come up to me. Uh -huh. And the cops used to say, uh, uh, like they would talk to me and be like, yo, can I talk to kick kick? Yo, Joe, let me holler at you. They'll pull me over. Uh -huh. They'd be like, yo, listen, man, we love Pun. Because you know, uh -huh. Pun, what people don't realize, Pun would not move out the hood. Like, oh, no, he, he bought the house yeah. in the hood. Yep. Um, he would have 10 motorcycles in the front, a yep. limousine on 24 hour hold. Exotic dog, like he was not leaving the hood. He was in right. Soundview, Westchester. He was not leaving. Right. I already lived in Jersey in a nice neighborhood. He right. didn't want to move, right? right? But the cops would come up to me and be like, "Yo, Joe, we love Pun. We love him right. to death. He got to stop shooting water guns at the yeah. old ladies oh, oh, yeah, the outside super the supermarket." Super skirt. Yeah, yeah, the so super skirt. Yeah, Pun would go <laughs> in the Skuka Soka. Yeah, super skirt. Outside good. the supermarket, old ladies come out here, shoot them with the water. Nah, man. 
Yo, yo, the cops used to come to me like, yo, we don't want to lock him up, Joe. Please. But everybody knows that that Gray Benz is Big Pun's yeah. car. Yes, yes. He coming nah, through. He was, he was a mess. He coming through he was, right he, in the front. He was a mess. All right, yeah. Hello, I love you, yo, man. Yo, love you too, my brother. Rest in peace, Big Pun forever. One love.